What is going on guys, Son of Beast here. We are back with another NBA Playoffs as we are heading their way to the Western Conference side as the Rockets take on against the Lakers. With an early lead of LeBron James, you guys should have noticed that he was definitely pulling out the show that he wants to make his season come back again since he played with the Cleveland Cavaliers on his first round pick. By that moment, LeBron James decides that he wants to go for another win as he are about to be seeing the second game between Houston and Los Angeles Lakers also called the LA but Houston uh, it's just it's just only Houston but I they don't have, I have any abbreviation for that that's all I have to figure it out anyways let's see what is happening here at Staples Center Present and accounted for. Here's the 2K Compete event schedule for the upcoming weeks. We are getting Make sure you get some uh, upcoming weeks here right on NBA 2K20. Make sure you stay alert on your on the notification right on your play on your system, Xbox One, um, the Nintendo Switch, or X or PS4. Make sure you uh, make sure you practice it and make sure you try to do it your best. Anyways, let's head over to uh, Staples Center and see what we got here. Now here's your starting lineups for Los Angeles Lakers. Six foot three, number eleven, Avery Bradley. Six foot seventeen, number fourteen, Danny Green. At the center, number seven, J. Bell McGee. At point four position, six, six foot five, number three, Anthony Davis. And a small four position, six foot four, four, number twenty-three, LeBron James. And your head coach for the for the Lakers, Frank Vogel. Ladies and gentlemen, your Los Angeles Lakers. Welcome everyone to NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. Time for our presentation for the NBA playoffs, coverage by by the 2K Sports, and it's about to be getting underway with Game Two. Great tradition showing what it is. And LeBron James is never standing out too much, and he finds Russell Westbrook. Rockets coach Mike D'Antoni is the modern-day godfather of pace and space. His teams in Phoenix popularized small ball, moving around and pushing the tempo in their seven seconds or less offense. It's ironic that now his Houston team plays a much slower isolation style of basketball. But Kevin, that shows his flexibility and D'Antoni's ability to adapt to his personnel. Whatever it works, we hear from Mike Dan D'Antoni. Thank you. Here's a look at P.J. Tucker one more, as I mentioned it before. If you guys don't know anything of what happened to P.J. Tucker, his rebound came in handy since December in 2019. By that moment, there might be no choice if there is there's another rebound coming up for P.J. Tucker or any other players. But if LeBron James would have taken it that time, then he would knock it right out of his of someone's hand. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Javel McGee. Sorry, lineups are all done and ready to go on the court. Here's the tip off. The Lakers wins the tip off, and we start now. I still think it matters to the players. I mean, they're a little less emotional now. Avery Bradley coming up to the court. That's his first miss of, the, of his shot. Didn't seem to get in. Oh, Harden didn't show up. Somebody just took the, the took the ball away. As Javale McGee will take his first fumble, first steal. I mean, Bradley coming in. The shot for Bradley is no good. Covington rolling out the other way. He kicks it off to Westbrook. Over McGee, 
And he knocks his first bucket in as Russell Westbrook has got two points. Field attention. On his last game, he, he has never got his chance to uh, make a steal all of a sudden. It was really tough for him to give him a shot for giving him as a pro if he steps into the All-Star game. By that moment, Russell Westbrook couldn't find himself where, where his fumble was coming at. But unfortunately, it might be too much to do calling the region fouls on Houston Rockets or the LA Lakers, but he never had a chance to do it. Six to shoot. P.J. Tucker rolling over to Russell Westbrook. The freeze gone in for Westbrook. That's his first bucket of three and his second basket of the night. In the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. Now we're just 5.30 left here. Here's Bradley. He passes it to James. House covered. Back to Bradley. Bradley's first shot went missing as, it, as Covington grabs his second rebound. Harden passes the house. House back to LeBron. I mean Westbrook. Out of bounds. Lakers ball. He stepped on the sideline, the baseline, and that turns it over the second time. Mike D'Antoni needs to help him out without stepping on the uh, baseline. They need a good offense. James looking for some good offense, and here he comes. The foul's going on. Covington is first. Stop the clock at 5.01 left. Talk about LeBron James. You guys should know that he was definitely a, oh, just a superstar, man. He first drafted since 2012. Or, or you know what? I think it was 1963 NBA draft, I'm thinking. Two shots. I think that might be 1963. Uh, no, that that's too long. Uh, that was 2007. Oh yes, 2007 NBA draft. The first one fall. I'm I'm certainly getting a little bit confused here because it was not a long time since he started growing up playing basketball in his 2K. LeBron with the coaching staff, he, he never had a chance to really wants to talk to anybody that he wants to keep it going. But for LeBron James, he has done a lot of his career for the season. Doing really well. First, he was drafted with the Cleveland Cavaliers by, by his first game in 2007-12. to But then he translated to, uh, to uh, the Miami Heat with Dwayne Wade in the 2013 season. But here recently... And that time, he went, he has, and then in 2014 through 18, he, through 17, he has returned with the Cavs. Harden went missing outside, and that's the first miss that comes out. Here's Bradley, covered up by Westbrook. And then 2019 to present year, he has switched to the Lakers and wants to give it a shot because the Lakers are having some hard time that they want to help him out. We want to bring some franchise player, and that's all we need to know. Wow, LeBron James went missing, but great D by a house. McGee almost went for a fumble. Pass to Tucker. The screen on house. In the corner is Westbrook. A drive for Westbrook, and that is good. That is his uh, third bus basket of the night. Showing him what he has gone, but it almost went out into an offensive foul on Houston Rockets while it changed over into, uh, I don't know what you call that, but it, but it might be too loose. Here's Davis. Oh, the dunk for Davis, and that's his first dunk. In a second game, always going to be a straight forward. You always got to know the final rebound, but Davis with a great, with a great feedback, showing him that, I, that he can re recover the ball. so much value to this team. PJ Tucker against McGee. Here's Tucker. Arden for two. It's rebounded by Westbrook. Tucker for three. Good, right in the middle. That's his first basket for PJ Tucker that he played. Tucker showing you he can. But Tucker only gets it got one assist and first basket of the night. Now here's for three. Here's McGee. And his shot went off terribly wide. Why he is such a respected defender. All right, in around. Tucker finding his way. Tucker past the house. And so it's Houston with it. 
after the miss from JaVale McGee. After the miss from JaVale McGee, here's Covington. Covered by here's Covington. Davis. Lays it up. He, he lays it up. With a nice reverse, a nice reverse touch to the, to the board. Covington did really well. Same thing like Ur he's almost like comparison like Urban did. Not capitalizing the upper quick back. Timeout will be the first call for the Lakers. 2.33 left remaining. He is always as the Rockets lead by eight. Yeah, and that's why he's an outstanding defender, Kevin, because he's got the physical attributes. He's got excellent speed and quickness for a guy of his size, good length and strength, outstanding hands. But he does a nice job of studying his opponent and what he needs to do to be effective defensively. I think he's one of the better defenders in the game and on the wing. What do you think on average? What do you think of the average of one of each team? Anybody? Now in a decade? I really don't think so, Kevin. You can go back and look at the numbers historically. Every draft class usually has six to ten rookies that have a significant impact on their respective teams. And of those ten, perhaps ten or twelve, maybe only a few are going to be on playoff teams just because of the nature of the draft. I don't really think that's changed. Tremendously over the over the decades, and it's a complete and it's a completion by noticing what team will have a cover. Maybe that time it might be only one. Here are some new substitutions after the timeout called by the Lakers. Just 2:20 left. Green, McLemore. He is off to Gordon. deciding where to go with it. He knows where to go. Around the hand, and there's a first basket for Eric Gordon. Rhythm. Open rhythm to around his hand got to by Morris. The I mean, and there's your first the basket of the night. From a deficit. Looking really back in comfortable spot. Here's Rondo. Rondo, two minutes have gone by in the first quarter. Morris with the bounce pass. Kuzma with an overhead pass by Morris. Kuzma's first shot went off missing. They couldn't put Rivers pass to Carroll. The last matchup with the Lakers. Carroll, Carroll pass to Rivers, rolling over to Gordon. Gordon, against Gordon rolling over to Green. Green to Rivers. Rivers over Rondo. And there's a ver first basket for Rivers. That's two points, and here are the field goal percentage. Lakers not enough here in the game two, falling out by 10%, but uh, but the Rockets seem to come out strong. And it's stolen by uh, Carroll. And a shot for Rivers is good. Kuzma with his first personal foul. Great ball All right, stop with calling the uh, yeah, soundtrack at the uh, stadium. So far, That's it. Come on. That mid range okay, it stops. Mike D'Antoni and Nick Vogel. Uh, Nick Vogel is uh, so a newest head coach for, uh, for the Lakers after down. Luke Walton got fired from uh, from the Lakers, and now he was translated to uh, to help out the Sacramento Kings. But his next season. He will never get fired again if he does it again. Timeout called by the Lakers. One and I left to go. A lot of things are yeah, happening. Kevin, I like the energy that Rivers comes in with. I mean, he pushes the tempo and looks for a shot as well. Um, and I think he can play either guard spot effectively. Timeout called the Lakers. A tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. Yeah, that was happening game one. But you may not know what will happen here. It, it might be too much to keep it going from here. Now heading over to the two to three zone, I might I might see what is happening going from each side. Three players in the back, two players up front. I'll see what I can do to find out which players have a lot more better to keep it keep it attractive. Just need to play it physical as I'm looking for some switches and. And, and back right now as Howard is on the court. Here's a look from uh, from Austin Rivers. After the last ten games, he was right behind Lonzo Ball. Uh, he was never been recently playing it. Forty-five, and I I don't think there might not be another chance for Austin Rivers to give it a shot because there's no way that he could find another team to help him out. Howard, oh, you can see that. What around him? 
there's the first time that you guys just knowed it. In the sweet spot. Right in the sweet spot. Gordon bounced past the Macklemore after a follow-up shot by D.Y. Howard. Kicks to Carroll. Kicks to Carroll. Gordon back to Carroll. Over Morris. The first two breaking loose for Carroll. Are all around him as Eric Gordon pick up his first assist. You know, they've had the advantage of both ends. A lot of advantage of pulling out from each team on each side. 40 seconds left in the first. And so it's more as well. Well, we're now down to 35 seconds right now. Deep one, going for it again. And Green picks up a rejection in first block. Rivers scanning the floor. Rivers scanning the floor. Bounce past the black McLemore. Green with the screen. Over the head pass, reverse. There's three players coming in with the with the with the reverse layups. First basket for uh for Green. Kuzma out wide. Three seconds left. And we'll go from here, and that will end the first quarter. 23 to 6 is your score. Already been dominating an effort with an early run by each player. You're watching 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs. We'll be right back after this. Second quarter is underway. We're ready to start, and here we go. When you execute, really look to attack, it puts the opposition on their heels. Rivers past the green. Welcome back, everyone, to the second. Rivers rolling around to McLemore. Guarded by Chris, uh, uh, Cardwell Pope. Caruso covered up by Gordon. From the elbow, it went missing now, but Howard has taken out of Rivers' hand. Rondo, the Cardwell Pope. There's the first basket for Cardwell Pope as he's got three. Outside at the corner. What a start for the second quarter for the Lakers, but but Gordon seems like he's not giving up yet. His last outing, 16 points for him. Here's his last night after they after a game one loss against the Lakers. Only 16 points for uh, for Gordon. Lakers trail by 14. Lakers are trailing by 14. Here comes Caruso. Caruso past the Rondo. The first shot off went wide. The second one, there is a put back for D.Y. Howard. There are not many better on the offensive blast than Howard. He's a flat out beast, especially if you don't box him out. Lakers trailing by 12. Screen on green. And we have some rejections. That was Kuzma that pulls him out off the lane. And the other hand is uh, is Cardwell Pope, but he lost one all over again. Outside is Gordon. He passes off to McLemore. Rolling up by Green. The layup around is good. Two for three from the line as Jeff Green seems to be coming out strong. No wonder. No wonder why he was going to do it anyway. I'm seeing defense. Not I'm telling you. There's not any shots there. One or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Howard in the post. Oh, what a missed shot that comes out spectating. Carroll passes to Rivers. Bus sided already. McLemore rolling over to uh, Carroll. Carroll taking four shots. And it's heavy contested on Kyle Kuzma with the tough defender. Cardwell Pope in the other lane. There's a miss. Oh, Carroll re recovers the ball before, uh, before Kuzma could have taken over. Carroll, McLemore rolling over to Rivers. Rivers passes to McLemore. Five to shoot. Just four. Around Caruso, and there's a sixth basket. There's his second basket for Ron Carroll, and he's got four. Timeout, Lakers. 4 1 left, 27 to 11. And it might be pulling out a standard 
Anyway, there might be a lot more to get there. What do you have to know? I think there might be some solution that they're coming up in. Rockets in an early run showing up, and there'll be, be some of each players coming back in. A different look here for Houston Rockets, as we have some a couple substitute players back on the court. Houston Rockets are trying to prevent with another win here uh, after, uh, after they put up a loss against the Lakers. And they already put a win against Denver Nuggets with just 41 wins. But Anthony Davis and LeBron are way, way off run. Wow, McGee with an early run. At assist by Davis. Benched out score by the Lakers by ten by eight. Right now the the Rockets are in the lead. House past the Tucker. They have to ensure they hang on to Tucker finds house. Now he passes back, passes to Harden, passes back to Westbrook. What's up from 17 foot? And it's a mess here for uh for Wessel Westbrook. James, oh here we go. The fast break is good for James. So he finally had some points back in with just four. But didn't be able to be surprised enough that there was a shooting foul coming on, on each. Now here's Tucker. You can hear the rumble right down down from the floor if you guys can hear it. Can you hear that? Yeah, you hear the vibration that that uh, that, that we have. Green with the block. And it's not McGee, it was Green that sent out back to the inside. Bradley James! And there's a terrific assist by Bradley. His first. And appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. Westbrook coming out here for a different look that time. He passes to Tucker. Looking something out before. Tucker rolling over to Westbrook. 225 left. Six to go. Harden with a running move in the middle. That's his first basket for uh, for Harden. Right around uh, Anthony Davis, and there's the drive. That's what you guys got to know about what driving range you have for basketball. Green against Harden. There's an AO call, and Davis makes the layup. That's his second bucket of the night. Two minutes gone here for the first half, 29 to 19. And yes, guys, I did send you out some breaking news here for Shanghai Disneyland that they are back for reopening. I'm not sure if you guys have been to Shanghai, Shanghai Disneyland, but for those of you who are just traveling here, just to deliver, just uh, deliver yourself a good credit. Davis grabs it in for the second, for the first bucket of the night. And we're talking about Anthony Davis. We're talking about Anthony Davis here. Where you got, where you won't mention about Anthony Davis. I mean, he's hearing the conversation among the best big men of all time on a nightly basis, dominating in so many facets of the game. Really, it's remarkable. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. And that's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Oh, an alley -oop for Anthony Davis, and there's the McGee with the dunk. Three guys, or two guys are working really good. Harden, Westbrook for three. The downtown has made. Harden grabs his, his first assist. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is that's so ten. Impressive. That's I mean, ten points for uh, Russell Westbrook, the and the score has been extended. Lakers trail by eleven. Lakers trailing by eleven. Oh wait, it's not extending. It's it's not extended. They they still have more time here. And Anthony Davis grabs eight points. There is a bunch to appreciate. A bunch of players are coming out here, in and out every time. Just look at that feed. But there might be more to keep it on ability again. Harden passes to Russell Westbrook. He passes the house. Rock, Rockets rule of moving the ball around. Over Danny Green. Anthony Davis creates another another uh, rebound to call for an open open look. Green no luck. Green without any luck at all. He missed again. Almost put a rejection by Harden. Going really hard. They're looking to battle back. That's one of the key elements. You got a rebound. 
That is the end of the first half. 34 to 25 is your, if you, is your score. Now it's time to go courtside as David Aldridge is on the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and try to go up there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm up until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. Right. Thanks, David. Second half is beginning. They're next after this. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right with you back. Hey y'all, we're back into the second half of the motion here as we're showing here from the Lakers that they are going way back town in game one. But when you know about each player, you get the idea as Russell Westbrook has two rebounds, ten points, a couple three-pointers made, and two assists. Talk about the man that you, that you would know about uh, about Russell Westbrook a long time. Well, you know, for so long, Mike D'Antoni has been a vanguard on NBA offense. His teams have always played great offense, moving, spacing, dynamic players. So defense has not been at the level of offense, but I think he's actually improved as a coach in that area as well. And on the floor for Mike. On the floor is James. Follow up by PJ Tucker with the fadeaway. They're the backcourt. Great team, but but Anthony Davis didn't seem to really make it back in. David Aldridge on the side. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. And those teams are making adjustments. Morning shootarounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red eye flights across country. Some teams even give players orange juice glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. Continuing for the results here for you, DA. Thank you. Westbrook kicks Here's it. Harden following up by the score by Avery Bradley by three. Here's Just four seconds to shoot. Harden with the two. And that's a wide open look. Came in from right behind six points. Dan Clark, part of it for Dan Tony. Now we're calling for the three on two for uh, for West for for uh, Harden. And with James taking a big look, and since the alley oop almost went unsuccessful, but got it on and put it back in. Westbrook up on top. He finds Harden. Moving around this house. Now here's now here's Covington. Over Davis. Shooting from 19, no good for Covington. And James heading its way. Did not clutch the shot right away. It went off balance. That was a tough shot. Harden to Tucker. He kicks it down. Rolling over to Wessel Westbrook. Here's Westbrook. Uh, Westbrook grabs his second bucket. First bucket in the second half. That's 12 points for Westbrook. James C -C -C wants to talk things over and try to make a different suggestion. 441 left. Houston Rockets still adding it up to the score, but they are looking away from each other. A lot more, a lot more games, a lot of ability. Two players are stepped out as uh, Eric Gordon and Carroll are checked back in. And also, Pouch and also Westbrook is out as Rivers is checked back in. Rockets are also changing here and the Lakers are also changing in too. Kuzma, Howard, Cardwell, Pope, and Ronda are checked back in. From, uh, from LeBron, from Anthony Davis, Avery Bradley, then it's, uh, then it's McGee, and finally, it is uh, is Rondo. Shot from Gordon. Down enough time, but he got it in. Impressive shot showing him before the shot clock reaches zero. He definitely made that shot in time. Picking up his range. A lot of shots are counting the basket in. Wait, uh, what a play for Gordon. Har James against Harden. Not James Harden, but the James has his last name. Kuzma 
And again, Kuzma did not send us send another three pointers or two for uh, for the Lakers. And it's all 19 rebounds for the Rockets, 14 for the Lakers. That's one of the many Gordon passes to Carroll. They've had the advantage, and as a result, move it around to Gordon. Here's Gordon around the way, and he gets it in there. That's his third basket of the night. A lot of speed pulling up for Eric Gordon, but he seems to really care what his ability is. It's a 14-point game. It's a 14-point game for the Lakers trailing and Rockets leading. Here's Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope outside, pass to Rondo. Five on the clock. Woo! What a backward dunk. I love to see how D.Y. Howard has gotten. Rockets leading by 12, assists by Rondo. Pass to Rivers outside. Rivers kicks off to Carroll. Harden outside. outside. We have the legal screen on offensive foul calling on Rivers. That's his first personal foul. And here are new changes. Harden is checked out with Covington. Carroll moves it in with the point forward as Jeff Green is checked back in. LeBron, Cardwell, Pope, and Howard are checked out. Cardwell, Pope moves into the small forward. Boris. And finally, it is Caruso. I think it makes for a better product. So I'm in favor I forgot what, what points uh, that Cardwell Pope did. I think it was Cardwell Pope. The drive's good for Harden. Caruso has his first personal foul. 46 to 45 is your score. The clock is stopped to 2.15 left. And even when you bang him and bump into him, he just muscles through that and says, play on. Play on, Harden. Play on. One shot left for Harden. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, but, but they also never seem to get cold from mid-range. Just kept hitting those shots with consistency. Harden hits the first free, or it's one free throw, and he has nine points. Two for a team left, Rondo against Harden. However great you are individually that you win the championship, we've got a lot of great Rondo trying to cover on Harden, trying to get away with that. Caruso going for it. Rebounded by Morris, and put it back. Outside is Caruso, I mean Rondo, now pass right to Kuzma, Kuzma, first shot goes in, what a shot for Kuzma, since he weighed one of each couple of tiny shots off his mark, seemed like he was going to care about it, but it didn't seem like he was going to get there, Harden to Gordon, Gordon, rolling over to uh, McLemore, Carroll, and it's blocked by Morris. Without a time, McLemore. The rebound by Caruso. Not quite enough to get there that time, but it didn't need more work. Morris went missing, but pull it back. Here's Caruso. First shot goes in, assisted by Morris. Timeout called by Houston. 105 left to go. And they're pulling it back in, trying to keep his momentum going and going. Watching his mo watching his eye on the court, seems like there might be more time to get there before before it gets before it reaches down to zero with a violation of the shot clock. Two players come back in as Macklemore switches off to a small forward and. Daniel and Harden is, is back in the shooting guard. In for Eric Gordon. Here's House, covered by uh, by Morris. Under one minute to go, House shot went off wide. Didn't keep it back in, but by the momentum. Anthony Davis, woo! What a dunk here! Wow, he's back in. He has 10 right now. But you gotta watch out for Anthony Davis. Harden outside, covered by Caruso. 31 seconds left. House pulling it in. Good. And it's over to over Morris and House. 
bringing it back on to life. Now Rondo, 25 seconds left, do that spin move. And here's Rondo, and looking at his production, he averages more than 7 points a game. The three-pointer for Davis is off the mark. 10 seconds left. Now Tucker. Pass to Rivers. Pass to Rivers. And we're going to leave it here. 49 to 41 is your score in the first quarter. We are heading to an approach of the final quarter. They are currently gathering up their belongings and before they head to Houston in game three. There might be some more time, but we'll be back. Let's have a look at the assist of the game presented by State Farm. Showing out what the recovery has been up to by Eric Gordon and Rivers who's been the only guy that wants to keep him up right in the, in the points that he made. But by that time, there might be it might be too hard if the if Rivers can put it back in and can get and kick it off to the next season because that's the only game that he's got that he's got. Thanks is always for joining us. Thanks for joining us here for the NBA playoffs, and we are ready to start the final quarter. Bradley coming out here behind a three point line. Fourth quarter action. All field. Bradley rolling it in, and there's House with the rejection. Freeman Davis in at the forward position. Westbrook, then pass to James Harden. Then there's Marquis Morris, and it's Caruso in at the two spot. Here's Harden. Harden shot went off. Tucker with the rebound. Harden outside. Harden outside. The drive, and it goes as Harden's got 11. And you know, the thing about Harden, crafty in the paint, he really finds angles and avenues to get the shots he wants when you don't think there's any angle or avenue to find. Here now is Bradley. Pass to Caruso. His first three shot, no good for Caruso. There are four rebounds for James Harden and only had 11 points, but 12 points was Russell Westbrook. Westbrook back to Harden, rolling over to McLemore. Over Caruso, and that's McLemore's first bucket in the fourth quarter. That's a 12-point rocket lead for uh, for the Houston Rockets to come spread by. Morris dishes off to Bradley. Bradley is going in, in right around. Morris with the dunk. They're hard not to get there. They're they're trying to keep it up, going all over again. Westbrook over to Harden. Five thirteen to go. Fifty-three to forty frees your score. Here's Westbrook. Avery Bradley comes out with a solid D. And with the shot off its balance. Connects the green as Danny Green picks it up in downtown three. Excellent shooting for the Lakers that time, but Westbrook is pulling out something big happening. Harden outside, covered by Caruso. He shoots up. There's a wide open look for Harden as he's got 13. Guys, I'll tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he Bradley against House. Finding in its way, it's Morris. Back in off the blast board. Timeout called by Houston. Really does make the game. They're really trying to make up its way to uh, to reach the shot. Really well in. Try to keep it up. Right up in and the other way. Sending you what is going on from the Lakers. Harden is checked out as Eric Gordon has checked in. And then for Houston, Robert Covington checked in for Daniel. Now here's Westbrook with just 420 left. And on our sideline, our reporter. Here's our report, David Aldridge. Well, guys, David. Last break, I listened to Mike D'Antoni talk to his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. 
Wow, the alley oop was Anthony Davis that puts up 12 points, one, one point behind Harden. What a celebration that puts up for the Lakers. Westbrook to Gordon. Gordon pass to McLemore. McLemore to Westbrook. Here's a shot. Off again. Davis grabs his rebound. Bradley against Westbrook. Davis for three. And Davis didn't seem to look like he was going to shoot way from far. Covington. Russell Westbrook away. Knocks down. The Westbrook has got 15 points. 3.08 left here in the fourth quarter. 58 to 50 is your score. James looking around. Bradley for three. Number one miss. Second chance effort. Oh, there's the foul on Covington. Let's watch it one more time. Anthony Davis, he didn't reach with one hand. What, a, what an amazing guy he is. Davis pulling out his show. One shot for Davis. After the foul was called on Covington, his second personal foul. That'll be, his, that'll be their first team foul for Houston. One shot for Davis. And that one, and that one falls in. Timeout called by Houston. 2.56 left. We still need more time to pull it up through the... For, for on its way to find where we are looking at. Need to find out which one can I sub out here. You know what? I'm going to have to fix up with uh, another motion here because this one's not working out well. Yep. Uh, let's just put up some point. Let's put the point here. And then I have to get back through the playthrough. Still need some suggestions here so we can get there through. We don't want that anything to happen to going on. Or it was Davis I was looking for. And now here's your presentation of the Jordan player of the game. This one is out to Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. With only 15 points right from each side of the corner, looking for himself with a show shooting ability. He was finding a great pass at that moment, and he definitely did really well trying to keep it focused. Looking really well by the dynamic duo between Harden and Westbrook, without uh, Chris Paul being there. We're down to 256 left. Here's Westbrook. So Westbrook will bring it up. Only 15, 15 points for him. That's Westbrook the passes to Tucker. Covered by McGee. And at the top of the key. At the top game. of the key is Gordon. Screen on Covington. Over Green. And it's Gordon. And it's Gordon missing. Trail by five. Lakers trail by five. Here's Bradley. Bradley with the shot. Now they're pulling it up by three. It's come from inside the paint. Houston's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Westbrook pass to Tucker. Tucker the pass to Covington. Over Davis. Over Davis. Covington shot, Covington shot is off. Six for, 11, six for 11 for the Rockets. Bradley spinning move, the foul, and one for Bradley. Gordon has his first personal foul. Went really late and jammed up. And what a huge injection of energy they got here in crunch time. Suddenly they're in Now McElmore is checked out as Harden's checked back in. And Eric Gordon has switched in, has switched to the small four position. Bradley looking for a chance to tie it up. And there is a tie. 58 to 58. Rockets are gone. Four to ten here. In the four to ten for the Rockets. 
two minutes. Westbrook. Gordon, right to Tucker. Back pass, rolling over to Harden with a shot. Yes! Harden with an unbreakable run. And that's 12 points for Harden. I can tell you what Harden has gone into. Rolling out the court. But the Lakers are not done yet since James is back on the court. Here's James. James to green the tie. No three pointers and no lead changing the score. Gordon passing it back to Tucker. Made it have to go. Outside is Westbrook. Outside is Harden. I'm getting a little bit confused. And Davis sends a sends a rejection. Out so long, trying to keep it well. The tie, and there's James. He went out here for 10 points. Bradley with the assist. Harden looking out for open ability. Tucker, pass back to Harden. Going back to Tucker, rolling over to Gordon. One minute left. Westbrook. A jumper, three's good for Westbrook. Got hyped up already, but he made it through to break the tie. Timeout call by Lakers. So with that, both teams have one timeout remaining. They trail by three. And they and their Lakers trail by three. Now they need to go for some other another uh, defense routine. All five players are uh, subbed out, and all five players are checked back in. Macklemore, Self, Soshka, Tyson Chandler, Rivers, and Carroll are checked back in. But only two couple guys are checked in first. Yes! James on the roll. Bradley with the assists. Hola. Hola, James. We've seen you quite some time. Rivers to Chandler. Michael Moore setting out the three. Oh my goodness! What a shot for Macklemore he had done. Five points for Macklemore. And final timeout will call by the Lakers. They're trailing by four. They are trailing by four. How well does Macklemore used to be known for as macking his lead to find his best shot? We don't know. There are a lot more questions that we have want to ask for it. I'm seeing better things what they're looking for. Wow. What amazing shot this is for Macklemore. I'm just saying right now. You you want to know what would happen? There might be a lot more to get there. Now we'll get back from here and then I'll switch it from two to three zone. 27.4 seconds. Lakers have no timeouts remaining, but only Rockets do have one more left. Passes to Bradley for three. And that's off the line. Macklemore covers the rebound. In your face makes such a difference. And there's the reach and foul calling on Anthony Davis. And now it will be their final timeout for the Rockets. 18.7 left. They're ahead by four. Still right now, they're heading by four. Not even, nothing special out of it yet. But this one needs to be called a different motion. Alright, like I just said, there are no substitutions for each players. Once again, there are no timeouts remaining for the Rockets and Lakers. Bradley has his first personal foul. Mike D'Antoni, give him about one percentage block of Ohio. Two shots will be Austin Rivers. Austin Rivers kicks in one, and they're up by five. One shot left for Rivers. And he, and he didn't send it up right from the uh, from the second 
second shot that he was going to cover. Alley-oop. Unable to connect. And that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't. The foul's going on. Danny Green is first. Tyson Chandler will go to the line to shoot two. After Austin Rivers only made one free throw. Here's a shot for Tyson Chandler. And yes, he did get traded off from the uh, from the Lakers to the Houston Rockets. That's what I'm thinking about. Tyson Chandler didn't seem to uh, didn't seem to impress himself. What is happening here? A one shot needs to be up more. His second free throw is good. They are leading by six. James, the buzz beater, and we won't connect it in. Rockets tie the series one to one. 68 to 62 is your score. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, not, not a chance to bother him at all. Is they were the better team. Well said. Now send it over to David Aldrich on the court side. David. Thanks, Kevin. Congrats, James, on the win. This is a very tough team. What does it mean to beat them? It meant a lot. We wanted to come out here and play with some energy. The guys uh, made shots defensively. Uh, it was a gutsy win for us. I'm sure you'll see these guys again. Thanks, James. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you. All right, DA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for joining us here for tonight's game of the NBA playoffs of Houston Rockets and the Lakers. Houston Rockets will be back home playing against the Lakers in Game 3. And then it will be the Raptors at home playing against the Bucks at Toronto. And then a couple games left will be the Sixers against the Heat in Game 2. And Mavericks at Utah in Game 2. So that being said, Jordan player of the game, that was Russell Westbrook, and everything else was really good. So we'll see you all next time for another Game 3 of each matchup. And thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. As until next time, peace out, bitches, for as well as a playoff, NBA playoff dial. See you next time.